doing like pancakes this morning. I haven't had pancakes, I mean, since I shared last with you guys and I don't even know when that was. Is that like a week ago? It's probably like a week ago or so. As I was finishing up editing this morning, I was like, what the heck am I gonna do in today's vlog? I was like, I've got nothing going on. I just need to run errands. And I feel like all of Vlogmas, I've just been running errands. Like I have not been strategic at all with the errands that I've been running. Like I feel like I've been to 280 far too many times and I'm like, well shit, I gotta go to 280 again because I gotta trade in my phone. So I have to trade in my phone, I have to go to my financial advisors, I've gotta go to the post office. I gotta go grocery shopping, which is like, if I would have thought this through when I was at Trader Joe's yesterday, I would have gotten like eggs. I don't even know if I need anything else. Like, do I really just need eggs? I probably need more food. I should probably get more. Oh no, I definitely do. Oh my gosh. I'm going to my neighbor's house for Christmas Eve. Oh, you know what I do need? I need baking powder. I asked her, I was like, okay, what can I bring? And she said, any app. And I need to figure out what app I'm going to bring. I think I'm actually gonna bring, ah! two different ones because she has like red and green chips, but no dip to go with those chips. So I was like, okay, one can easily be a dip. And then I'm debating what the other one I want it to be. So if I'm gonna go grocery shopping, I need to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do for those apps before I go grocery shopping. I just feel like I'm driving around everywhere and then I get home and I'm like, oh shoot, I should have also done this. I'm just like not thinking things through very well. So I'm still just in like total disbelief that we only have, like I've got three more vlogs left to film and that's it. Vlogmas has flown by this year and I'm like not ready for Vlogmas to be over honestly, which might sound weird. I've just had so much fun with the vlogs and I like chatting with you guys every day in this way. And really like this is what I need to do more on my Instagram stories. Like I do it a little bit on my Instagram stories, but not to this extent. And as I'm thinking through my like rebrand in reality, okay. When I talked to my manager, she was incredibly helpful. But at the same time, a few days later, I was like, oh my gosh, wait. That was not as helpful as I thought it was because she ended up putting like different thoughts in my mind that were not my thoughts. And like at the end of the day, like you know your brand better than anyone else. And yes, like go to other people for advice, like look for other opinions, whatever else. But at the end of the day, like if you can trust your gut and if you just like, like you know your vision, you know your purpose, you know what the hell you're doing. And I let some of what she said really impact the way I was thinking. And I shouldn't have done that because there's some things now that I look back that like she said that I like don't agree with or that's not the direction that I wanna go with my brand. Now that I'm like here a few days later, I'm like, wait girl, like you thought you had to completely change everything and you don't. Like yes, you need to change some things and yes, it needs to make more sense. And yes, you need to fucking take your main channel back. It needs to be your channel. Part of what I'm thinking through is like, okay, my Instagram stories, I got so used to oh, I'm this business person and that's all I am is I'm business and I talk about tips and tricks and I put myself so much so in this box that that's who I am. And when I was growing my main channel, I was using my Instagram solely to promote my main channel and I was only talking about business and I was talking about what I was filming and what I was editing and that was it. And then over time, I transitioned my Instagram to be really what my brand is about. And my vlog channel has always been what my brand is about, but at the same time, sometimes on Instagram, I fall back on like, oh, on Instagram stories, I can only talk about the work I'm doing. When that's just like not the case and that's not the way I want my Instagram to be, I really, really want my Instagram stories to be more so like this. Like every day you guys go on my Instagram stories and it's like a mini vlog. Of course, I'm gonna still do vlogs here on this channel. I just gotta figure out like how else this is all gonna look within my brand and like what truly makes sense for me and really fulfills my purpose and like what the hell I want to actually do with my brand because this is a total tangent. I'm just feeling chatty, obviously. I'm gonna make a video on it and I'm not sure how that video is gonna look, but the way I feel right now is my main channel, my main channel, my Catherine Manning channel became something that wasn't mine. It doesn't feel like my channel. It doesn't feel like Catherine Manning. And I let the opinions of others and the thoughts of others really determine the direction of where that channel went. And now I've gotten to a point where I don't even know like a good analogy for it, but it's just, it's not mine. And I think that's why I don't love it so much right now is because it feels like it's someone else's. 
but I'm in control of it, but I'm not in control of it. If this makes any sense to anyone, I'll keep you guys posted. I've had a lot of you be like, wait, can you talk more about this process? Cause I feel the exact same way. And I definitely will. It's just like, I got a lot to figure out and with the internet, you know, and the opinions of others, I'm such a person where it's like, if I am not, I, I need to figure things out on my own. Like, like I said, with my manager and stuff, I let her opinion so easily sway me when then I sat back and I was like, wait, no, like absolutely no. And I don't want the opinions of you guys to really deter me away from what I know I need to do. Yeah, I am making chocolate pancakes if you see me over here heavy handed with the chocolate chips. had a little bit of a productive few couple of hours. I had to do the finishing touches on Fancy's video. I am so excited to see your guys' reaction to that video because it is one of my favorites. I loved it so much and I feel like I don't stop talking about it. I am gonna run some errands. I know all I freaking do during Vlogmas is run some errands, but I really need to get some stuff done. I think I'm gonna push off going to the grocery store until tomorrow because I don't need anything for today and I need to figure out what the heck I'm going to be making. This hair, wow, it just caught it. Look at myself, whoo! I need to figure out what I'm gonna be making as my apps. So we'll figure that out. But for now, I do need to run to my financial advisor's office Office. I do need to run to the post office and I also need to run to AT&T. I don't know. Hold on. Let me see. Is there an AT&T close to my financial advisor's office? I mean, you know what? This isn't too far. I'm like, do I run to AT&T? Do I not run to AT&T? I got to trade in my phone within 30 days of getting this phone and with like the holiday season and everything. I just want to make sure that I get it done. I get it traded in. So Maybe we'll do that. First up though. Oh shoot. What I'm realizing is I gotta do a skims return. If you guys have seen this like box sitting here, that's for stuff I gotta return. So if I'm going to the post office, I should return that. I've got a couple of pieces of mail here that I have to deal with. Hold on, wait a second. I'm back, sorry. I had opened some stuff from the city and the county and stuff, you know, like business licenses and things. I want to create a video sharing things I had no idea I was getting into when I started my business. Because like when I formed my LLC, I had no idea that I needed to get a business license. I had no freaking idea. And thank goodness for my CPA because she was like, Catherine, these things are due. This is what like, and even like I have to pay taxes for the things that are in my office. Oh shoot. What do I do? Sadly, within skims, their returns don't have, like they don't have a wrong product received. So I don't know what to do about that. I just contacted their customer service saying, hey, I received the wrong thing and then didn't receive one thing. So I'll see what the heck they can do. But like, if anything, I just want my money back on the thing I didn't receive. And I would love to return them this product so then they can sell it. Like I didn't pay for that. I paid for something else, but the other thing didn't arrive. Anyway, so at least I can return this. Sadly, it was just recycling day and I got rid of all of my boxes. Shoot, what the heck am I gonna send this in? You know what, I may have like an envelope thingy upstairs. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I just don't know if I'm gonna have an envelope that's big enough. Oh, it looks like I might. Oh yes, this will be absolutely perfect. Cool, cool, cool. The last thing to prepare is, this is my old phone. I already got, like I already, put it back to its factory settings, deleted everything off of it. Gonna take off my screen protector. 
beautiful. And then I actually have the original case that it came in. So, you know, give it back to them in this condition. That way it doesn't like break in transport. Awesome. I think I have everything that I need. I just need socks and shoes and then we're ready to go. I got like an hour and a half until I gotta be home because I need to be here for your reaction to Fancy's Day in the Light video because it's just, it's my favorite. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. Okay, let's go. Oh my gosh, I decided to put my own vlog on the TV and Fancy is so intently watching herself. This is the cutest thing I can. She's so into it. Oh, oh my gosh, she kills me. Now that comments are done, I am a little bit hungry right now and I don't wanna eat a whole dinner right now because then I know I'm gonna be like hungry later, the same time I was hungry for like popcorn the other day. So what I'm thinking, is let's try this vegan mac. I'm very, very curious. I make vegan mac and cheese myself, or at least dairy-free. No, mine's for sure vegan. I'm a little concerned because I think it's made with coconut milk and I don't love the taste of coconut. Okay, I don't smell coconut, so that's a good sign. Honestly, it looks kind of gross. Like the consistency is weird. I also have this sent to my P.O. box and I have no idea what the heck it is. I didn't season it or anything. I just want to try it as is because I don't know. Like, is it going to need salt? Is it going to need pepper? Am I going to need something else? Pleasantly surprised. I'm not going to lie. I had pretty low hopes there for a second when I was like scooping it out, I was like, oh, this consistency is a little freaky. That's pretty nice. For just an easy meal, that's not bad. I will not be like running back to get it and have it like in my fridge all the time, but it's pretty nice. Are you guys ready to see what this package is? Someone sent it direct from Amazon. I do not know what the heck this could be because it's such a large shape. There's a spider in here and that just scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, wait, this is like a spider. It's a critter catcher. Oh, stop to remove insects from your home. Wait, how does this work? You guys just like know me. This is amazing. Whoa. And then it's in there and then you can like take it outside or something and save it. Mm. What? This is amazing and so, so, so random. Oh my gosh. There's nothing else in here. Whoever sent this, thank you so much. I had absolutely no idea what the heck this was, but thank you. Now I just need a critter to capture. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, what the hell is my content? Like this is what I'm sharing online. Yep. It is far past my normal dinner time. I really thought like today's Tuesday, it's Sushi Tuesday. I was gonna get sushi and then the more I thought about it, I was like, am I really actually feeling sushi today or am I just gonna do it because it's Sushi Tuesday? And then it got to the point where it was too late for me to order sushi because then it would have arrived really, really late. And you know, I just like kind of wasn't feeling sushi today because I just had it the other day. Very randomly for lunch, I was like, you know what, I'm craving sushi. So we're just gonna make ourselves a little easy cauliflower gnocchi tonight. I've got some like spinach and tomatoes and maybe I'll do like pesto. Maybe I'll do lemon. 
JK. My spinach was bad, no big deal. So we do have cauliflower gnocchi, tomatoes, and then I seasoned it with some pesto today. But I've been getting a ton of editing done this afternoon. Do you wanna come up here, sweet girl? Come on up here. And yeah, it is time for me to check out for the night, huh? You just like wanna do some cuddling and watch some TV, right? That sounds fabulous. I totally agree. So I'm gonna eat this, watch, I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna watch tonight. And I will see you guys back here tomorrow for the second to last day of Vlogmas. It's coming to an end, you guys. It's coming to an end.